622 here. Welcome back. Hurricane Ian slamming into Florida as a Category 4 storm, leaving a path of destruction, trapping people in flooded homes and knocking out power to about 2 million people. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez joins us live now in Punta Gorda as the threat of heavy flooding continues there. And I'll mention right off the top, you can see Ian or Ivan there, but you see that the, the lens is blurry and we can hear, Ivan, the wind. What is it like there this morning right now? Tammy, good morning. We're waking up here in Punta Gorda. We're in complete darkness. Uh, we've been without power and water since Ian made landfall yesterday. And just walking outside today, we're beginning just to catch a small, small glimpse of some of the destruction that we see. And since it's so dark, I'll turn on this flashlight for you so you can see to my left. There's this trailer. This was not here before. Ian made landfall. This just completely moved here because of the heavy winds just pushed on its side. You can even see some canoes that are in there as well. One of the biggest concerns here now going in to this morning again is the concerns with power outages as well as water. Here in Punta Gorda, we're under a water boil advisory. People can still go to the uh, city's water plant. That's where there's a fill station. And the city is saying that they're trying to fix those damaged pipes. And once they're able to do that they can get the system restarted and uh, when it comes to the conditions right now uh, as we're seeing uh, and hearing that wind what is it like now there and what is expected for later on today will the rain can continue to let up in order to allow for some of this restoration work to begin And, and, and in order for the, and that's the big question on people's minds is what how is exactly is this going to ease because one of the biggest concerns that we've been talking about since yesterday was the emergency uh, response that was going to be suspended until the hurricane calmed down which we now know is has been categorized now as a tropical storm but the hazards that are in the rows, like those toppled uh, palm trees, as well as power lines that may be uh, downed as well, are going to play a big role into whether or not here in Charlotte County, those emergency responses can be resumed, like the police department, fire department, and EMS. Several counties across Florida are asking people to be patient as they're now beginning to assess all those damages. It's, it's hard to... to picture right now just how much damage there is because it's so so dark and we can really only see several feet in front of us but that's the, the biggest question on people's mind now is when can we begin to to have some help for those people who chose to stay behind and it, it is just uh, daunting to think about the fact that you have about two million people in the state right now without power in the same situation as you are right now, Ivan, where you're completely in the dark. Um, so people are going to be waking up and waiting for daylight to see and assess the damage. We know it's early, but can you give us any update at all on any possible injuries or deaths that have been related to the storm? We, we don't know an accurate number now on deaths or injuries. That's something that we're obviously keeping a very close eye on as well as, as Florida officials. When, when you were mentioning before about the rain, that, that's something that we have seen calm down. And I, I can tell you from experience covering the hurricane when it made landfall yesterday that when it did hit, there was heavy, heavy rains. Then it seemed to have calmed down when the eye came over us. Then we were just met after the, the eye passed with those heavy rains and heavy winds and those winds that well, we're still feeling here right now. Now. Okay, Ivan, uh, we uh, wish you well. Stay safe. We likely will chat with you uh, again in the coming days uh, just to, again, see what kind of damage has been left behind by this uh, massive and very powerful storm. Thank you so much for joining us.